was having a great game, but nobody else was. And I don't think, like, you can't really put a hero like that and be like, well, if, if you're doing great, you should just win. Like, that's not how Dota <laughs> works. Then you just, oh, I'm leading minute five, yeah. game over, man. Hey, you know, if, if that happened, why, why would my MMR be as low as it is? That is that is not how Dota works. Your team needs to be with you. But I think one of the things PSJ is talking about with Monkey King, which is definitely a good point, is that this hero falls off a lot harder than many other heroes do. You can be doing really well in the start. You can get kills. You can get farm. But when it comes to team fights later on, one or two bad moves where you die, the drop off of this hero seems a lot more severe than us. What the hell is that, Corey? I know, right? Um, He's just such a such a happy kind of guy. But that's not even the courier. That's the Monkey King. They ping him out. Like last time I saw Monkey King play, he went in sniping couriers. What is this court? And then is that a, like a mini Furion? I I honestly don't know. Like it's That's like. Like he's he's the uh, keeper of the inn where all the uh, all the treants stay the night. It looks like half Seder, half Furion. Furion, what did you do to Ricky? Okay, let's move on. <laughs> so How? top lane, Mar mind control. We're playing a bat rider up here for now. It looks like he's going to be facing Yang in the top lane with the help of Fade on Earthshaker. In toward the mid, we have um, keeper of the inn. Bottom lane, DDC and Silar will be playing as Pugna mm -hmm. Jugger. Very nice natural synergy between these two heroes, obviously, to Crowfy and Spin. Miracle, they don't know he's here, but he's bottom on Reiki for now. And they got Kuro friends. GH. Yep. They got friends. So he's body blocking DDC in so the magic missile can connect. GH will follow up with the impel. Silar, what are you going to do? You're going to spin for the rune? GH is actually going back for the rune so Kuro can get the first blood onto DDC. And Silar, he's running home. He's running away. Miracle will be playing this offlane, Ricky. Yeah, but he's definitely going to get farm priority. Ricky is the type of, type of hero where if you're putting him in a core role, you don't want him to have nothing. <laughs> Kuro's not giving up this chase. Okay, maybe he'll move because Yang is the, the lane rotating. Yep. They want Bat to they want to face Bat with Jugger, but Liquid are reading the movement and they're mirroring it and they're crossing. And they won't know that Miracle's doing this until now. The, the clash, the waves are clashing bottom. Miracle's not taking CS. Okay, he's definitely crossing. Now we get the situation. Are you going to keep mind gaming or not? Like, do you want to <laughs> swap again? Looks like that yeah. is... Yeah, Silas turned around. Silas, yeah. Silas coming back down to the bottom lane while Yang will be farming it up because they got ES. Fade is currently getting free time as the Earth Shaker on top lane. And Miracle's about to arrive in a second. And Kuro is waiting for a courier snipe in mid lane. And uh, it looks like we're getting the same kind of move from DDC. <laughs> this just feels like a... Like musical chairs is what we're playing at the moment. Yep. There's the first TP. So Pugna will come to the bottom lane to work with Sila. He's killed the blast though, not the decrep. Decrep plus spin has so much damage potential. Yeah, that's the lane swap. So mind control TP top, Sala. More likely more than likely gonna follow him the moment he sees this bad rider top. And successfully, VGJ get the lanes they want. Siler just yep. needs to get into the tree line and TP top and not get stunned. It's very important he does not get <laughs> stunned right now. Well, GH just used his stun for 10 yeah. seconds, and oh, yeah. Siler just does the TP instantly. Yep. And Yang says hello. Arrives in. Mid lane. Slap oh, down wow. and freeze. Oh, well, he was just prepping it up. Two points in the boundless strike and... Uh, <laughs> All right. Tip and tilt. Tip and tilt. My tell my man tips Yang. Good tip, bro. Well played. Tips him back. Well, it's a really nice day if you freeze. Obviously, a lot of that CS is Spiderlings, but he's 13-4. I don't know how much of it is Spiderlings. I think he hasn't killed a single one, actually. He is just dominating the lane. He's really far ahead on net worth. Getting that solo kill gave him 300. You, you subtract that from his grand total right now, and you can see he's still far ahead of the Broodmother. So a lot of mm. just natural CS in this lane that... Yeah, this is a totally different story from the Brood versus Monkey King game we saw... I think it was the day before yesterday, or was it yesterday? Um, it was yesterday. Where CCNC was playing against Ramses in mid. This one is looking so much better for Freeze right now. <laughs> but this is this is also that time where you look at the supports for VGJ, and Earthshake has got so much to work with as well. Like, he's already got his level 3. He can try and harass directly into mind control. Yang won't be so lucky. Trying to juke it out. Uh, he can't do that, however. DDC was a little bit too far away to help him out. Yeah. This is an expensive lane for Liquid to run like this, though. They're tri-laning still with a Ricky and a Venge. Venge is level 1 as a result of this. 
And like you said, in the top lane, we already got Yang, or sorry, Fade, as well as Siler, both level They're three. They're chasing Mind yeah. Control. The Fissure is out. You got a level two spin, and this should be enough damage to kill off Mind Control. He can't take to the sky. He's got three stick charges, but Siler just needs uh, two more swings uh, with the crit. Oh, uh, no, 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 stop this no, 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 Siler, not like this, not like this, not like this. He's still regenerating oh, the attack with the sticky napalm. Siler's going to go down to Mind Control. He stopped his attack, Toby. He stopped it. He thought he actually animation cancelled. He can follow through with that attack even if Mind Control tries to fog him. Oh well, bottom lane. A lot more damage onto Yang. Yeah, a little bit more difficult when DDC gets the Nether Ward at level two. <laughs> I think twice about fighting. Yeah. Interesting choice. I think Silas going again for the kill. Fissure's not available. They'll go into the trees. What round two? Starts to spin. The fissure will be available. Mind control will go straight over the top of it. Sila can't reach him. The die creep wave's going to keep giving him the extra information. Not this again. It is exactly this again. The die creep wave's still there. There's no TP support coming up from the bottom lane. I think they're still looking for another gank, another fight. Oh, fade? Yeah, oh. he's rotated in. He'll no, miss no, the stun, <laughs> and he can't even cancel the salve of mind control. What the hell is going on? This top lane is is really. Something. Clowny. That's quite something. Yeah. Uh, we have an uh, we have an illusion rune uh, scouting out Monkey King, <laughs> scouting out Brewmother, Sorry. Yeah. And this is a good job from uh, VGJ Thunder, by the way, getting the Sentry out this early against Matumba Man. So this camp that he wants to play off is going to be blocked until they reopen it. And we'll see if he even realizes, because if he clears this camp after five minutes, he won't know until six minutes that it's blocked. Let's see. Uh, he is just going to be on time, so he won't know that this is indeed blocked. His pilots are even waiting, and yep. Oh, uh, MC got one. He keeps running down Fade. Fade has the fissure. Uh, he's going to get this rune. And That's that five sticky napalm stacks, though. Like, if Mind Control has managed to dodge death so many times, uh, he won't kill off Fade. Bottom line. Good to crap. Saving Yang for the moment. He's still got 10 stick charges as well. But yeah. no, no point in Ghost Shroud. He's going to scale level 4. Yeah. He has that in one creep, and then he's going to be fine. This is the price you pay for playing tri -lanes. The The levels on Liquid's Heroes down here are not that hot. Like, Kura level 2.5. Miracles level 4. GH level 3. It's not, it's not too bad, but... Mind Control's hunting Sila. Sila's already lane. used his spin, but he'll be okay. Fissure. Bottom lane, yep. You get the stun off. GH trying to go for the run. Spike Carapace was just up long enough for DDC's Nether Blast not to have an effect. And Miracle throws down the smoke screen to try and create some space, but GH is regeneration. And he's even going to salve just to be safe. That was not necessary, actually. But that's fine. He can go shrine with his buddy, Matu and Kuro. Probably going to three men shrine here. Keep Miracle bottom. Kuro's got the sentry board. He hasn't actually pinged it out just yet, so... Uh, like they can open up that camp right now if they wanted to. Yeah, Matumba seems unaware. He might have thought at the time that he blocked it himself. But that would have been twice in a row by now. Mm -hmm. He would have blocked it in minute six. So this sentry is really good value, actually. Not getting that camp. It's big. Oh, Yang. Yang's dead. Oh, maybe not. Sick fissure. He's out. So Ghost Shroud and Death Pulse available. GH is by Carapace. Weared off and... Uh, through the trees and down. Another fissure available in a, in a couple of seconds. DDC uses the Decrepify and Blast. Fade, he can go for the Totem Stump, but now with the Earth Spike, GH, he'll lock him in, but Freeze, he arrives in the fight. Miracle thought he could get a lot out of this, but now he just gives a buffed up Monkey King, looking to pound in towards Kuro, who will find that revenge onto DDC, but no, he actually has Stick Charges available. More life comes back, and Team Liquid going all out in this bottom lane fight. Fade, he'll use the Mango to allow Freeze to capitalize. Really nice rotation there from Freeze. And he doesn't even lose much damage on his mid tower. Matu is spending the time trying to catch up in the jungle. So therefore, the, the tower mid looks totally fine. And he basically switched, turned that fight around in a big way, saving one hero and getting two or three kills. Nicely done. And looks then efficiency like a shrine and space for Sila. Bad Rider did retreat into the jungle. Mind Control has, however, almost found level 7. He actually has really good levels. TDC has uh, found a friend. Oh, GH a friend. is moving over as well, but they're a little too slow to keep up with that Pugna. 389 movement speed. And maybe it's time to uh, start taking some of those towers with DDC. But a tier 1 tower is still up. Restrict that area. Double damage. 
And I'll give it to be a part of that play. Uh, they're letting Freeze deal a lot of damage here in mid. He's going to have to back off now that LGH shows. Actually, he's... I don't know about this one, man. Okay, he... He's, he's, for a bit. he's a little down. Miracle. Okay, they waited long enough. Now they can actually put down the smoke screen. Uh, Monkey King not escaping. Not with the double damage rune out. The TP, whoops, uh, can't come in fast enough from Fade. I'm I'm surprised you didn't see this one coming, to be honest. I mean, it's obvious for us, right, when we're watching this. But you the, can bottom see top, lane, the bottom lane's empty. Decrepify Blast, Mind Control, very quickly TPs away to safety. All the way home as well. Yeah. Yang was left alone bottom for quite a while. This was a really big rotation from Liquid, but getting the Monkey King kill makes it worth it. And you got to consider, they even had a ward down here themselves, actually, that also had no info, so... Well, sometimes those moves work, and Liquid get a big reward out of it with that kill. Who got the kill? Miracle got the kill, even. That's perfect for them. Ring of Aquila uh, is going into DDC oh. top. Good damage. Yeah, with the tricks of the trade, DDC will protect himself with Decrepify, however. It looks like Kuro is finally going to do something about uh, getting some vision up on top lane. Watch the movements. And they're giving GH the bottom lane to play with. Wait, I forgot to ask. Is this the first Ricky pick of the tournament? Uh, no. No. You have to do Honestly. that every time. It's every, really tempting. I kind of can't resist. Every time. Yeah, I do. I'm checking. All right. Oh, keep checking. We'll surely miss the kills top. Meanwhile, all right, GH. <laughs> GH's going to die to an Omni Slash. And Didn't miss anything, damn it. Blade Fury. <laughs> so Salo did use his entire combo there onto GH, but that's still a good kill. And the Bounty Runes already claimed one up top by Freeze. Looks to be a maybe three for one, actually, if they do manage to reach this bottom one. As Mind Control is going on DDC, we'll get the kill. Reaper is ready. Uh, not going for it. Wasn't yeah. enough of a uh, of a follow up. No, rotating in towards middle lane too after the uh, kill up on top. Trying to combo with the Monkey King. Miracle's looking at it, but he's doesn't have enough power against uh, Freeze just yet. And with Fade hovering behind, a Fissure will always be there to save. GH is coming though. The Invis Bros already. Yeah, they need plus one. For my this. control's killing off Yang on the bottom lane. In the meantime, DDC going to get the Decrepify actually buffing up the damage. They have to drop this scythe. There was no other solution, but my control will still survive through it with the attack from the tower and bottle charges. Cannot repair the damage. You know, Liquid to try the kill onto Monkey King in the mid, but Freeze stays alive. I actually think they misplayed it a bit. GH, I think, didn't get the Vendetta hit off, and that could have made the difference there. So they didn't get the kill. Fade was there to protect with Fissure, and Freeze backs out, uses the Shrine. He's good to go again. And maybe looks to make a move up top here with Kuro sitting in the lane on Vengeful. Looks very tasty as a kill, but well, now there's a Ricky too. They have no detection between them, do they? Like, no dust, he no can, dust. He can replace this tree that's missing. Shaker has dust. They're going to go for this. Comes in close, bounce forward. Miracle reveals himself, start with a stun, into the spin, follow up fidget control, but tricks of the trade still comes out and they have to wait. Miracle bounces the other side of the fissure. Freeze, he needs a slap down, doesn't have it just yet. Miracle, bounce up, down he's you gonna, go, oh and the dust God, will reveal. Miracle live. will get away, and while that happened, Pugna died on the bottom lane. Oh, he's gonna live. That hurts. That's a three-man gank onto a Ricky that failed, and they had a dust. And now they Miracle get to go on towards the mid. Perfect stuns. They do so much damage. Normally, you think Ghost Shroud's going to protect you, but when you get hit by the Mana Burn, the Impale, and the Spawn Spiderlings, no way to live. And Fade, oh, fade yeah. you already have Diffusal up on the Broodmother. You can't outrun. This game is swinging in a big way right now. That is Matumba Man being online. This is what Liquid have waited for. They've... They bite their time. Well, bite, Kuro. not bite. Don't bite time. It's not good for you. Oh, Kuro. Kuro in trouble. Now the blast is able to connect. Freeze, very uncertain about this. Bouncing around, affected by the wave of terror oh. that does occur. And then... Oops. Oh. <laughs> Was it painful? I'm not sure that would have been a kill anyway, but the mental damage is there. Missing that stun is... That's it. Silo. Oh, Miracle. He got the tricks of the trade off. They're starting to spin. They put a second Sentry Ward down. Miracle bounces down to the Creep Wave and then Fissure from Fade. <laughs> Slam him into the next life. I'm not going to Houdini, Houdini yourself out of this one. That's, that's the limit right there. Not even Miracle. 
Uh, we'll get out of that situation. This curry is going in so deep. Does GH? Radiance middle tower. The trees are whistling in the breeze. Kuro is going to find Freeze instead. That uh, Vendetta Nyx will take some time to get there. Top tower will go the way of Sila, while Mind Control is creep skipping out the bottom. Doesn't have his Firefly, however. Wait, what's MC building? So he got the hood. Is he going to finish pipe straight up, or is he going to go for a dagger? I'm pretty curious to see. So this is a trend we've seen in the last year, that bad riders don't really rush dagger very often anymore, and instead go for value items that make you able to sustain in fights so you can be more than just a blink engage, but actually be a hero that runs around, tank spells. Matumba starting on freeze. Slime down at least finds a little bit of space, but here comes GH. Yang TPs in, but it comes way too late. Now this just becomes a potential another kill. Fade, Echo Slam wants to let it rip, but the stun's around. They only have a couple of spidlings around it, but they're attacking into the Necrophos. They'll have to go shroud and death pulse out. Matumba just waits for it before he throws his spawn spidlings into him. Really nice stun from GH. In that situation. That could have got really scary if Shaker gets the echo off, but stops it right away. Man, this Ricky taunt is... The taunts that play music are so weird sometimes. <laughs> the music doesn't fit the, fit the moment. GH found a new target. DDC hits with Vendetta, follows up with the miss stun. Got the Fuser Blades available. Fissure from Faye will buy a little bit more time. Yang can't do much more. The Crepify on DDC was delaying it, and Kuro is in way too deep. A bump, thump, freeze. Echo Slam for the extra control. And now it's Team Liquid coming in a little too deep, but it's just the supports. Freeze still has a Jingu stack. If he can somehow find anything in the next 20 seconds, that would be a huge nuke on the Boundless, but... Oh, he's trying for it. It looks like he's saving it here and... Hunting a kill. Knows the 15-minute bounty runes are already, but... Liquid already took care of three of those. So, not really gonna gain anything more here, really. It's still, it's two nice kills, but again, man, look at Matumba when he plays this Brute. It feels like every time he just gets so rich. This game, he got solo killed mid, he got counterpicked, and his camp got blocked. Yeah, and he's still 9,000 net worth minute 15. Silas or Miracle with the Sentry Ward from before. Miracle didn't forget what happened previously, but Silo already using his spin. Miracle has to... This has to be so tempting for him. Just has the Yasha arrive. He needs a little bit more support, but then Fade rotates top instead. And Miracle wants to farm this. No Echo Slam for FaZe. So I don't think they actually have the damage to kill him up before Tricks of the Trade. That's why they throw down another Sentry on the Observer. Oh, oh the no, 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 no. It's the wrong... S oh, and he taunts... It. He just taunts him right on the other side of the rock wall. That was worth watching and not seeing Freeze die on bottom. But bottom lane, they are swapping in Yang. One court, not enough. Two cores, that will probably be enough. Go Shroud up. Reaper side's available. But GH, the double stun onto the Necrophos. Is there someone else to finish the job? Omni Slash in from Silent. Kills off. Kuro, Microtrop begins its own TP out. He'll be successful as there's no stuns available for him. Got the kill on Yang with the Flame Break. He had four or five Napalm stacks, so the Flame Break deals a lot of damage in that situation. And Liquid, they're going to be really happy with what they've just got. They got Freeze and Yang and they paid Kuro. That's uh, one of the best trade deals in the history of trade deals ever, actually. Amitabha wasn't even involved. He was too busy farming up his BKB, which is coming yep. on the Courier. He's having a good time. He's chilling. They're looking towards GH. Fabe, Fissure time. Uh, he's too concerned getting it on the wrong side. Then it would be completely pointless. Remember what I said last game with Liquid, how they're good at playing around the cores that are strong in the moment? They yep. just activated their Batrider so effectively there. Now, Mind Control had the hood. He wants to fight. They bring a play down to Mind Control's lane where they kill cores. And this frees up space for both Miracle and Matumba Man at the same time. Now, Matumba has the BKB, so now he's probably going to be the centerpiece of their fights. Now they want to play around him and bring the Batrider to those fights. It's just... It's methodical, but it's not... How to say... It's very clear and methodical to watch, but it's not boring methodical. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's not like, okay, we do this, step one, this, it's, it's, step two, this, step three, this. Because it changes it's every game. It's not a routine. It's yes. a natural progression to win. Exactly. Winning. And it changes every game what the prioritization is and who is strong and how they play around. They just have this really good feel for what the power level is in the game is of each of their heroes. And they just take advantage of it very well. Well, they're looking for a hunt in mid lane, which is where Sila's hanging out. Is, is that the rest of the battle fury? It is. So Sila finally has some 
fast farming clearance, but at the same time he picks that up. Let's celebrate with blood of Juggernaut. One charges and spin. He actually get out this one. The Fissure, Scythe is coming down. Miracle barely survives the, the Reaper's Scythe. Does still go down to DDC. And blood was actually the celebration. Silent gets to live through it all. Yeah. That's a nice kill. Goes to DDC, so he gets a bit on the way of his Pugna, and, well... Look at him move. Mind control. All he has to do is just rot of Atos the Pugna, pull him back in again, and DDC... He was looking to go for his own... Decrepify on himself. I wonder why he picked up Atos. That's pretty interesting. It's really good against Monkey King. But it's not a good item against Juggernaut. It's good against Necro. It's a bit uncharacteristic for me. We don't see this item that often on Batrider. Like, the stats are great. Obviously, you get a lot of int and strength. That's what you want on this hero. And... Oh. Gonna force a spin here. Yep. I guess that's something you can do. It's not a uh, not that bad. Oh, top lane fade. Miracle hits really hard actually. With that Yasha and extra blade of alacrity. Doesn't even have the defusal up and running. Fissure actually takes out a lot of Matumbleman, and they're gonna go in for the Omni Slash. Tam, that bug, he stays alive for so long. The end of the Wukong is not actually reaching Matumba. He can live on the sidelines and now run another rod of Atos, slowing him down, but they can't find the kills team liquid. Oh. Everyone's low, but G8! The three man's done right in the middle of everything. Sila has to spin himself out. DDC draining out the life of GH, but even he will survive. They give him an earn charge and then a counter earn charge. They're still gonna be a no matter what, but it's not so great for Matumbleman. A lot of money going into DDC of all players. 725 for that kill. Man, that looked so good with the stun, but they still managed to sustain through it. Obviously, Pugna healing healing himself. The Necrophos getting a couple of extra heals out, and that was on the that was on the Sword Edge. That edge that that could have definitely been a totally different story, but Liquid just lacking a little bit in the power. Anyone bring a sentry? GH. Anyone bring a sentry? Mind Control wants to go for the kill. The slap down's there and freeze, ready to bound in, and he goes after GH. Spike Carapace is slowing down the fight. Kuro's also arrived in the engagement, so DDC with two sticky napalm charges, he just can't survive. Mind Control burns him in the fire and the flames. <laughs> this just does not end. It really doesn't. Oh, well, fade. Echo Slam on the single target thinks it's going to be enough, and it will be. Oh, well, yeah. It All will right. be. Cool. But question is, how, I mean, don't blame him for it, right? It was the, Gotta get the kills this, you can, this? but... Yes? Mm. Mm. He would have probably loved to get the kill himself, because you really need this... Uh, I think the biggest problem for VGJ Thunder right now is that their team fight is... They don't have that dagger on Shaker. This was one of the concerns I had going into this tournament with Shaker as a hero. I didn't think it would be as big of a pick as it has been just because it's not that strong in lane and you really need that dagger in the mid game. And if you're not ahead, if you're getting controlled on the map, you need to find this dagger somehow. And that's one of the problems against Broodmother is Brood controls your map. So with that constricted space that he has here, it's hard for him to find this dagger. Fade hasn't had a bad game, but he still doesn't have a dagger minute 21. And now that he's finally going to get it, this could be the swing that BGJ Thunder have been looking for. But once yep. again, Liquid, they've built a big advantage in this time. 6,000 on the gold. There's a lot on Broodmother once again. Uh, does Matsu have a new item coming out? Not just yet. So it's the BKB plus 1,400 here. I'm guessing we will see him go for maybe a secondary damage item. Uh, he's definitely safe in the BKB against this Radiant lineup, so... I'd love to see the way VGJ... Like, as I'm watching DDC with three Observer Wards, where he's looking to go. And he put a fresh one right here. So, watching that bottom lane, watching the Liquid push out, another one right in front of the Tier 1 tower. So, this does protect a lot of the push power on the bottom lane. It's still creating more space for Silo, who's saying inside the jungle most of the time. Roshan's being picked up by Team Liquid. Yeah. There is nothing that can be done about this. As you said, you need that Blink Dagger ready to roll, but also the position and the vision directly after it. And they go for Yang. He's rooted up. Problematic. Has no way to really escape. Nether Ward is down. And actually, there's a lot of stuns coming back thanks to that Fissure, but no way to survive. Team Liquid just balled through it. That was a very clear, let's get the hell out of here call. Fade had no Echo Slam. Miracle's so he's going like, up I'm going to gonna Fissure, and then you're on your own. The smoke screen's up. Freeze just can't get out of it. This is where the Monkey King's power just fades away. Uh, he's so close to the BKB, but Miracle catches him just before that. Just 100 to go. And that swings that power completely around in the next the next situation like this with a BKB. He'll probably be able to just jump away. Fade's going to blink and TP. What? For now? Yeah. He's, oh. he's waiting. Oh. My control's going to see him with a Firefly. They'll just root oh. him up and then burn him down. Visha. Returns the damage thanks to Spike Carapace and Miracle gets to be dominating 6-3-3 for Miracle.
He is really, really farmed now. Almost got the Mantle style. Great item this game. Allows him to get break out of Decrepify. Allows him to play around Omni Slash better, even with that and his ultimate. He has those two options. If he's an absolute god, he can Manta Dodge Echo. That's probably not going to happen, but you never know. Uh, yeah, just solid itemization. Obviously, Manta Diffusal, classic standard build on Carry Ricky, which we haven't really seen in Dota 2 for a long time. So it's a, it's a special treat we get in this game. Out of Miracle. Oh, yeah, Liquid are just, they're just looking so good in this game now. Do you like the Shadow Blade from the Juggernaut? Uh, I think at this point, the problem that VGJ Thunder has is, again, the thing I was talking about with constricted movement, right? They, they don't really seem to have a way of getting out on the map. So Siler is probably hoping that with this Shadow Blade, he can find an opportunity for his team, get a good Omni Slash off on maybe the Bat Rider or the Nyx, and just start the fight that way. Because if, if Liquid have the vision advantage and they get to jump with the Bad Rider, it feels like every single fight ends the same way. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's too difficult. Um, the thing we could discuss is whether he should go Battle Fury in a game like this. Because Battle Fury first in this patch, I feel like it's really difficult to pull off just because of how long you're a liability for. Yep. Like, Liquid just had so much time on the map. Oh, there we go, the Shadow Blade reveal. It's going to be mind control. This man was building in towards the Octarine. The Fidget controls him as Kuro swaps up. They just instantly into the Omni Slash. Miracle came into it too. And then the stun. GH, how's he always in the best positions? Matamba joins the fight to freeze. Able to get the lockdown as he fights inside of his Wukong, Wukong's command. Very rare you actually have to, a Monkey King just to be able to stand its ground. But then Matamba Man, he finally will be brought down. They burn through the Aegis, but all five heroes ready to fight once more. More perfect stun timing from Fade. Matumpa will try and walk it off, but that does not happen. Liquid, it's the worst fight of the game for them. Is Shadow Blade worth it, Toby? It's, uh, yeah. I think yeah. so. I think it's also worth it when you have uh, Mind Control just walk into them. Now, the, the thing that was really nice there from Siler actually was that he waited with casting Omni Slash. I think that was... If he was anticipating exactly what happened, that that would happen, that was pretty genius. He was waiting for the nether swap, and then he omnied. Because else he could have started omni oh, they the dusted. Oh. Miracle! They got him too! He did. He picked up the bounty room, which revealed he was there. Fade had the dust ready to roll. This is a pretty big swing. That's a 5k swing over the course of just one minute. You look at, the, bounties too. look at the net worth graph and all the dots in the bottom. It's like liquid, 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 liquid. Oh, Gh. thunder, thunder, thunder. <laughs> Didn't go directly for the stun. They They're forced uh, TP down. Yeah, easy swing up. And you've got... It looks like VGJ, for the first time in a long time, actually have the desire to really start hunting Mind Control. Throws out the Flame Break and the Lasso, and uh, even roots up the Necroforce. Mind Control is just trying to do this all solo, and Freeze is almost allowing him to do so. He was burning up. He never popped the BKB on the jump in. And now GH it's time to on get the out. hunt. Spirit Vessel's ready to roll. Sila begins his TP. Freeze bouncing over the tree line. Yang, okay, Freeze actually bounced down. Yang triggers off the dust. Oh, sorry, is dusted up, so Gloomer Cape doesn't protect him. A nice quick jump from Freeze, and Yang's TP away will not be successful. If they communicated that a little bit better and he instant TPs, he might actually have lived. He also had 18 stick charges. Hmm. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Ah, oh, Ricky. That's really what that hero must feel like in pubs. I don't really... Ricky doesn't get picked much right now, but... Sila. It's just annoying. Wants to battle underneath that sentry ward. Omni Slash is available as a level 3-2, and uh, Kuro and GH will just walk it off. Land a couple of stuns, force out one thing. And yeah, now they're actually going to get rid of the sentry ward. Put up their own observer and they realize that Bakuro is in kind of no man's land. Sila still holding oh. the Omni Slash, but with a double stun, GH, he can't stop that level of damage, and that's just nice and easy. And they even get the Fissure. There's another Sentry War, so they see Ricky, so they burn off the dust, but Miracle, that's why he has the Manta style. It's another added benefit of it. Easily gets out of the dust. I think we're going to see a gem come out from VGJ for this reason, probably. If anyone can save up the money for it, they're still pretty starved on gold, obviously, from buying all these sentries. But, yeah, this game looks like it could be a lot more excited th exciting than we anticipated 10 minutes ago because yeah. Liquid just had two bad fights, and all of a sudden, it's kind of blown wide open. Yeah, Juggernaut's become a real hero. Uh, yep. Freeze has been able to stand in, in, in his engagements, and oh, the supports have been doing their work, too. Like, Ricky can't keep the control on, on Fade because you've got four staffs available. You've got double force on DDC and Fade. Miracle has Battle Fury queued up. Uh, wait, what? What? Hi, what? Uh, what for? 
Do they, are they struggling with Wave Clare this game? They have bad oh, Rider. Really? But then you can just get a Maelstrom. Um, fade. Okay. Oh, they got him. Perfect chain stun. In these situations, Ricky deals so much damage in skirmishes where you're like two on one or three on two, where you outnumber and you get the jump. This hero is really good. It's just in this top level of play, the reason we don't see the hero very often is that it's hard to maintain this kind of control, but Liquid just had such a strong advantage. My control's got the blink up, dragging in freeze. DDC wants to try and help him out. Can he give him any life? No, Rod of Atos, they switch their targets, going after DDC, but with a four staff away, DDC, well, okay, no, they are both going to die. He can't drain out life that quickly. Needs more more juice in the suck as Miracle. He's diving in deep after Silent underneath the tier four towers. And there is nobody else inside that trick to the trade with a double damage rune. Sila had no chance and no buyback either. He's dead for a full minute. Liquid, they found their opening. Yeah, there was an awkward position for VGJ. Obviously, Broodmother being able to cross over the webs in the tree line and then they actually saved Freeze with the Pugna, but he didn't want to be KB off. Echo Slam. Uh, Goro swaps him out, able to get the Sun into GH in the back lines. Kuro will die pretty quickly, but Batubberman just turns on the BKB. He's still holding the Nullifier, waiting for the right time. Scythe the fight comes down on top of Matubberman. Sorry, Reaper Scythe, other Scythe. Yeah, they were trying to hold him in the ring long enough to get that kill. They, he knew that it wasn't going to deal damage with the Scythe, but if he doesn't try that, there's absolutely no way to get the kill. So that was an admirable attempt, but just not good enough. Now, the, the problem before with the jump Liquid got is, again, this pressure they have on the map and the warding. See, they have way more control in the left side of the map in this, this exact area where the fight took place. They have that really great high ground ward. So they get the engage. And when VGJ Thunder tried to retreat, the Monkey King didn't BKB. He was super low. He couldn't have fought anyway. He could have tried to BKB and just disengage, but he held on to it, ended up dying, and they end up just overwhelming them by simply getting the jump with Batrider. Like, that was the number one factor in that fight. And if VGJ Thunder want to try to take these fights, they've got to force the fights into areas where they have vision or get the jump themselves. Or both. Ideally both. Okay. Thank you, Dota, again. Let's uh, unbound my key. Oh. Ah, all right, we're back. Sorry. GH. Yang dies in the meantime. Yeah, he does not have Spike Carapace. He should be dying here. Yeah, he's got it off cooldown in one now. second time. The Wait. Sun Chain is going to be there. So they'll find that one. Sila holding the Omni Slash. Mind Control is Kuro. Both together, but the Sun from Fade doesn't latch onto Kuro. And they buy back on the Nyx Assassin. Mind Control's got Blink Lasso off cooldown. And he'll probably want to grab Zafri Camp and Matoman. He walks in point blank range. Now the Omni Slash goes off. GH copying the full brunt of the attack in the follow up spin. Spike Carapace will not protect him, but Kuro will. Swaps him out to safety. Fade wants to come and help and kill off the captain of Team Liquid, who denies them this kill away from the Wukong command. But they're underneath the shrine. The heal's coming up. Fade's going for another round. He needs a little bit more mana to work with. Oh, he's got friends. But Matalman's caught up to Yang, so Yang has gone down too. Freeze. Now the battle happens on the northern side of the field. Yeah, Mind Control keeps stacking them up with Napalm here. They, you can tell that Liquid so wants to just buy time. Too. Matumba Man is split pushing mid. They got to get back to defend this now. So uh, it's just a cancel TP moment. The Fissure is good. The spin is out. GH, he's already landed with his own stun. Mind Control and 100 HP will finally go down. But Matumba, he's taking the tier 3 tower. The melee racks to follow. VGJ, you got to get back, guys. There's just a full lane of racks being lost here. And they're losing the fight at the same time. Yeah, they came in. They, uh, they chased him up. Slap down from Freeze. Matumbaman, he is a beast. Just one Monkey King is not enough to deal with this. In fact, Matumbaman is just taking the entire fight, just biting up the Monkey King. He cannot deal with the pesky bites. And Sila, well, he'll arrive, but the Rax is already gone. Fade, a blink forward with a fissure, but is there really a follow-up? GH is already here. There is a follow-up, but it's from Liquid. They won't fight, however. There's no need for it. Fade just held his enchant toad in there. We would have got Carapace. That could have ended pretty badly. And the Thomas back to full health. He pressed ulti and hit two times. That's how Brood works. Yep, that's uh, another great moment for Liquid. This is the first Rax of the game, and basically the way they set this up, this is something that Mind Control is really good at, I think, compared to other players. He has a very good understanding of the macro in the game, like what happens across the map when he makes the move. That's why we see sometimes Mind Control go for these amazing baits. There's a highlight from that yesterday, just understanding how putting his life at risk for the greater good, how that can have a huge impact on the game. This play, this mid-racks, was actually mind control taking it with Batrider. 
He set up that entire thing top by just running them down, napalming them up, being super disruptive, causing chaos. And Matoma was like, great, man. I'll do my thing. They're coming for the fight. Observer and Sentry is down for VGJ, so they see everything. Mind Control jumps in, and there's your Echo Slam from Fade. They need to keep their control up, and they've got it with the side. Bad Rider is the lead, but Miracle in the back lines just turns on Tricks of the Trade. Already find himself a double kill, cleans up the nether wards, they can fight once again with a little bit more freedom. And Freeze, he's ready to fight, but he doesn't have his BKP, he doesn't have the Wukong command, and they need to deal with Matumbaman, who's killing off DDC. Inside the trees, GH Bull, he's got 80 HP, he's waiting away from Silas Spin, in range of the ES, but really, it's just his end up. He was dying anyway, three for three. Freeze and Silas are gonna survive next to their own tier two tower. Given how good a jump that was for VGJ Thunder, that fight didn't even go that well. They didn't get rid of Matumba Men's Aegis, so they get essentially a 3 for 3, but they also buy back the Pugna. So we're going to see it again here on the replay. Good echo on two heroes. They get the Monkey King ulti off, they get the Reaper off. I think, unfortunately for VGJ, this Reaper is kind of wasted, actually. They didn't need to use this on the Batrider. He was almost dead already and could have maybe played a bigger role getting a Reaper on a secondary target in this situation. Mm -hmm. And now that the fight continues, they're all out of juice. They have no Omni Slash left. They have no BKB on the Monkey King, like you said. They have no Reaper. And DDC's buyback ends up being worthless. He just runs into the fight, gets nullified, and dies. Yeah. It's just a hard, it's a hard earned fight, but uh, at the same time, like Liquid is still coming out on top. As you said, VGJ didn't really get the most out of it. They need the cause to die more than anything else, but this is green, this is orange marks all the way through. There's still action from both sides. Everyone's still finding that opening to try and find an engagement or a push. A new item to arrive, Freeze has a halberd to go with his BKB. Once Yang managed to complete up, he's looking towards an Aghanim Scepter on the Necrophos. Sila finished mm. his Battle Fury. Questionable, uh, I don't, but still there. I'm not feeling this Ags here on Necro, actually. I think the problem for VGJ is not that they don't have long enough cooldown or short enough cooldown on the Reaper. It's that they don't take a good, good enough fight to begin with. I think you need something that is better in one fight. It's a bit ambitious right now to be like, we'll win a fight and then we'll have a second Reaper in the, Reaper in the follow-up fight. You need to win the first fight in the first place. I would have loved to see something like maybe a BKB on this Necrophos so he can deal with the Nyx, deal with the Bat Rider, deal with all these pesky stuns and the Nullifier of the Broodmother. They got so well. much information. The Observer and Sentry is on the hill back where they fought last time. So it's just a jump in, kill off the Juggernaut. Does he buy back into this fight? Fate could not push himself far enough up the hill, and they're taken on board. It is Matumba. Actually, it's Mind Control. It's Koro. Everyone's there. Triple kill for Miracle. He doesn't even have to walk anymore. He just rides on the back and throws daggers at people. An ultra kill for Miracle. And that is most definitely the game. Team Liquid, they take it. 2-0, and that gives them first position coming out of the group stage. Ah, Ricky Ags is so good. When you have items on Ricky, actually, that Aghanims is so sick.